We move now to Gulf County. Let's see how their election turned out tonight. So the first race in school board, it is District 1. Let's take a look. Denny McGlug McGlon, pardon me, uh, no party affiliation again in the school board races. He won handily 74% over Bernadette Hackett. Ruby Knox winning District 5 with 67% of the vote to take the District 5 school board race in Gulf. And the final race in Gulf County. Let's see Gulf County Commission District 4, the Democratic primary. Uh, Sandy E. Quinn Jr., 61% of the vote. Uh, he beat out Tinlin Smiley. News 13's Megan Myers spending the evening in Gulf County with the supervisor of elections. She's live now in our studios with more. Megan. Sandy Quinn Jr. previously held the position as District 4 Commissioner for four years. Earlier tonight at the Supervisor of Elections office, a lot of folks waiting for results. Sandy Quinn says his main goal is to increase job numbers. He says more jobs are beneficial for everyone. Seeing the election results brought up many emotions for Quinn. Feeling uh, relieved, excited, grateful, and thankful. Uh, hoping to continue to uh, move uh, Gulf County's vision forward. He says he looks forward to working hard in Gulf County and improving the area. In the Gulf County School Board race, District 1 candidate Denny McLong came out as the winner. And in District 5, Ruby Knox will now serve the position. Knox spent more than 20 years teaching in Gulf County. She says she's looking forward to improving area schools and helping students. Due to her experience, she says she knows what issues need to be solved. Denny McLong says he hopes to create more classes for students to train for a specific career path. Both candidates say they are happy to have won the race. I feel, I feel great about the outcome. Um, the people have, have spoken and um, I, I thank everybody for the support. It's all of my friends, families, just can't thank them enough. All my supporters, oh, there's no words for it. For both candidates, improving education will remain a top priority. All right, thank you so much. News 13's Megan Myers reporting live on Gold.